Who's got the 11? I don't know. Oh, how come we don't have the 11 yet? That's what I want to know. I mean, you would think that, that they would arm us Thank with those you. to, like, just hold around Tony at Comic-Con. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm on, That's yeah, I'm using thing. my new Where's iPhone. Where's our 11, 11 yeah. Apple? <laughs> <laughs> I guess they don't really need that kind of marketing. So, I asked um, girls earlier, is there anything that when you got the script that drew you to the character that you were like, I want to really do this project? Something that really stood out? Well... <laughs> Do you want to start? Do you want me to start? You should start. Um, I said yes before I got the script. <laughs> so I didn't actually get a script until we were uh, working on it. But when they, when we sat down to have a chat about it and they were, you know, talking about their projections of what the storylines were, I was really interested in the love between the my character and Sarah's character. Uh, and that story playing out, sort of like a public relationship uh, in the public eye, the pressure that that brings, the inequality in the household um, in terms of, you know, gender bias kind of home, um, and then how that plays out in the time and, you know, changing, sort of changing history in a sense as to what happened and when changes were implemented in society. This one happened a lot earlier and it's, yeah, it really excited me, that aspect, which is separate to the space. It's a whole other thing. Um, I, uh, I did get to read. Did you? I did. I got oh, to see, this is new information. <laughs> what? I'm going to get fired. I'm going to be back in a second. Over. Yeah, I'm getting fired before today is over. Uh, no, I, I got to read the um, first couple of episodes, and, and I... And I, I, I actually had some concerns uh, because in the first two episodes, I, I sort of feel like I'm a broken record uh, on this, but, but I really appreciate it. They take their time in setting up the atmosphere and, and what is going on um, in the world, at NASA, in politics, the whole thing. Um, so the character... And Tracy's position concerned me a bit. It wasn't something. And then, and then after having a conversation with, with Ron and company, um, I I couldn't resist. And, um, and who can say no to Ron? Honestly, who says no to Ron Moore? He's the coolest. Or Ron Moore, space. Done. Totally. Yeah. Sign up. Just do it. Just yeah. do it. Sign on without reading the script. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. I think it's gonna be all right. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, so so run was was a big big draw. Yeah. His storytelling and, you know, and he's and all Matt. right. He's pretty good. Ben and Matt as well. Yes. You know. Yeah. L like Watch Fargo was like wow, but yeah. What did you find most interesting or peculiar about the space program and just everything that goes into you know, going into space? About space? Yeah. Or the program? That you learn from doing this show? Because presumably most people don't walk around with an extensive knowledge of the space program. Yeah, absolutely. I, I didn't know much uh, and realized the more that I learned, the more that I don't know, and it kind of freaked me out. I started thinking about or asking questions, what is out there? <laughs> <laughs> What's so big? Um, I would love to have this conversation with you. I feel like if I do, I might give, I might accidentally give away <laughs> things that I'm not supposed to give away. And, and I don't want to give away, but not supposed to give away as well. And so I'm not, we'll have to talk about it once the season's over. Okay. But I'd love to have that chat with you. What, yeah, what I'll add is the more that I got to peek behind the curtain into NASA and, you know, the space program, 
the minds that came together to create what they did at the time is phenomenal. And the courage, like the bravery of these guys, these space cowboys that went up there is wild. They to strap themselves to a rocket and go into the unknown Astronauts. and not knowing what's going to happen or if they're going to come back saying goodbye to your loved ones and going, hey, this might be the last time we ever speak. I've written a little letter which is in the drawer. If anything happens, go and open up the drawer and, and read the letter. Like, I just, I don't understand. And they're doing it willingly. Yep, yeah, I'll do it. Sign me up. It's crazy what yeah. they had to do. To Astronauts, this will not give it away. But, I mean... The connection of really understanding, because we um, we had we had an astronaut uh, as a, a technical advisor. Gary, yeah, Gary Reisman, yeah, Reisman, Reisman, um, and um, the connection of how superhuman astronaut. I mean, they they are superhumans. They're not just like physically superhuman. They are intellectually superhuman emotionally yeah. superhuman yeah. they're just superhumans yeah. and, and that I don't know if that's because you know our generation grew up when I mean I grew up in Florida where launch we would we would get to go like get out of our class to watch a launch um, and that would be the perk is getting out of cla- uh, of schoolwork as opposed to like the actual line yeah it's going up again it's, it's fun you know but then really getting into this world and, and, and meeting with Garrett and having the opportunity to speak with them and, and learn more about astronauts just blew my mind and, the human and what they did with what they had which is sort of what yeah the fact that they had to be superhumans and at the time they didn't have a choice even if they weren't um, they weren't allowed to fail, so it's it's an interesting thought, and we sort of play through it in the in the show, you know that mental element. It's very cool. All right, sweet. Thank you. Have a great day.